Hello to all students. In this video lecture, we are going to describe nutrition and digestive system of birds. As you know that birds are ravenous appetite because whenever they find food, they try to eat maximum food and store in their in their stomach in their crop. Different, there are different kind of environments in the world and there are so many different types of birds present according to environment. Some birds eat seeds, some birds eat fruits, some birds drink nectar of the flowers and some are omnivorous like they can eat anything like crow. So according to the environment and according to the uh, food they eat, they have different types of beaks. And a beak does not contain any teeth, so they do not grind the food they eat. They contain a tongue in the beak, in the mouth, in the oral cavity, which help to swallow the food. When they swallow the food, the food enter into a small tube known as esophagus. Esophagus does not help in the process of digestion, rather it transport food from oral cavity into crop. Crop is the first part of the digestive system which stores lot of food, which can store lot of food because birds are, they contain ravenous appetite and they try to eat maximum amount of food to store in the crop. Crop secrete some enzyme which soften the food and helps as a storage organ. In the crop of pigeons, a secretion, a cheesy secretion is produced which is known as pigeon's milk. Pigeon milk is formed by the cheesy secretion formed by the proliferation and slowing of the cells of the crop. What happens? The softening of the food with the help of secretion of the crop and slowing of the cells of the crops and then mixture, cheesy mixture is known as pigeon's milk which they feed to feed to their young ones small birds to their babies after st storage of food in the crop food is uh, transported into gizzard through proventriculus proventriculus is also known as stomach but it is the first portion of the stomach and the second portion is known as gizzard gizzard is the stomach where mechanical and chemical digestion takes place. As you know that the bird's beaks or mouth, they do not contain any teeth, so mechanical digestion takes place in the gizzard. For this purpose, they eat gastroliths. They swallow grits, small pieces of stones from their surrounding. And those gastroliths or grits or pieces of stones helps in the process of grinding of food inside the gizzard because the walls of the gizzard are muscular and are very strong. So food is ground right over here. Then HCL and pepsinogen enzymes are produced in the gizzard which helps to soften the food, kill microorganism and helps the portion of the protein to digest into peptides and amino acids. Then food is gradually transported into duodenum, in which the secretion from the liver which is known as bile and the secretion from the pancreas known as pancreatic juice secreted into this part of the intestine where all parts of the food carbohydrates, lipids and proteins are digested in the small intestine. As the food goes along the small intestine food is being digested and then absorbed by the small intestine and then transported into the blood. Right over here you can see the mesenteries which keep the intestine separate. At the end of small intestine there is a large intestine but at the junction of small and intestine there is a pair of cecae which also secrete some enzymes to digest any remaining food particles. 
In the portion of large intestine, usually water and minerals and remaining food is reabsorbed and then at the end undigested material of the food reaches into the part of the last part of the digestive system which is known as cloaca from where food is excreted out in the form of feces from cloacal aperture. So in this way uh, the food is uh, processed in the digestive system of the birds. So the birds have very active digestive system uh, which is very necessary to produce large amount of energy for the body because energy is very important for the birds because birds have need to do flight which is a very very uh, difficult task going against the gravity and it needs a lot of energy so to do endothermy and to produce a lot of heat usually birds eat very large amount of high energy foods like seeds which helps them to adopt their environment which is usually in the form of flight or flying. So that is why their digestive system is very active, very fast and very strong to provide maximum amount of energy to the body. And that's all for today. See you in the next lecture. Bye.